it's not a lot. This looks like he does a gear a lot every year. Um, Oak, Boy Science Temple, California, Incorporated. Doing business is Khalifa Media. Uh, it's part of the Divide and National News Network. And a lot willing, I'll be um, bringing out a video shortly describing what that is. But uh, right now, um, I wanted to discuss something that's been um, occurring quite a bit lately. Okay, in my world. And knowing how the more, you know, we're divinely connected and have a uh, mystical communication, you might be going through it too. Especially if you're uh, be more active ones. You might be able to identify it with what I'm about to say. Uh, fair warning. Um, I'm dragging a little bit. Like I said, um, I need to make an astrology video about what's going on. But in a nutshell, um, it's ADAPT astrology. If you want a detailed description, you'll have to wait till I make the videos or do your studying and, and um, examine what I'm about to say yourself. Um, the moon is in Virgo. My rising sign is in Libra. The sign right after Virgo. Okay. Um, as mentioned in another video, your rising sign sets your clock. That's the first house. Whatever is your last house, whatever sign there, that's your last house. That's the end of your clock, right? So that's the sign of um, death or sorrows and undoing. Undoing because it's the last house. So Virgo, my last house, right? When your sun, when um, the sun is in your last house, that's like um, you can kind of think of that as the period right before you were born. Everybody was resting up and getting ready for your birth. Your mother and you, you know, your strength. You're just taking it easy, you know, reserving your gate or building your strength, getting ready for your birth, right? So this is my ascendant new year about to start when the sun moves into Libra, okay? So right now I'm feeling a little drained and irritable because the sun is in that last house and there was just a full moon in um, Pisces and the full moon illuminates, okay? Think of a spotlight being right on whatever sign and or, and or planet is shining on at that time. So in this case, it was giving back the light to the sun that's in Venus. So I'm feeling very short, all right? Um, the coffee ain't doing nothing. <laughs> the Red Bull is just whatever. I don't even feel it anymore. So, but I'll be okay in a couple of weeks. So, um, it's interesting because it seems like, I don't know, maybe it's the, the irritability where I'm noticing it more, but it seems like um, more is a coming at me. All right. Just more because I don't really have any problems with anybody else because apparently I just put off that energy where they know, uh oh, that one's awake. Moving on, okay? It's easier prey. Anyway, um, more has been coming at me. I don't know what's going on. Um, I'm gonna have to look at my chart again. It's kind of cool. It's cool and crazy because I'm, you know, not that Facebook is any gauge of your social prowess or whatever. I've been, a ton of people have been friending me on Facebook lately. I don't know why. I don't know why. I'll take it. But at the same time, you know, the more acquaintances you have, the more heads you have to butt, butt up against, okay? And I don't mind, you know, yeah, I like tests. You know, it's like, let me see how much I know. And, you know, right now they're not testing my knowledge, they're testing my patience, okay? Um, I guess my biggest issue, the focus of this is that more is being foul. Treating me with less consideration that they would than they would treat any other nationality. I'm gonna give you some instance, and you know who you are. Um, someone contacted me about a child custody issue. Okay, first off, I hate domestic. I know how to do it because of, I'm dealing with it in my own family. Okay, not me. I'm helping a family member with the same nonsense. I hate domestic because property you just lose property. Domestic goes wrong, you are affecting lives, especially when children are involved. Yeah, okay, we, we know why it's the youth are so vital to go after because what we do with them determines the next 20 years, at least. Okay, so, um, 
brother contacts me about a custody issue recently. So if you haven't done this recently, not you. Okay. Um, and I'm doing a ton of stuff. Okay. Praise Allah. None of it's for me. I love, you know, serving God by honoring Allah by serving man. Okay. Anyway. Um, so he contacts me about it and I'm like, all right, cool. That's no problem. You know, I'm actually working on this. I love when people contact me because your contacting me is a signpost for me because I never get contacted. When I somebody contacts me, they're not the only one contacting me about that issue at that time. And that's how I know, okay, that way. Which one has got the most requests connected to it? That's the way I'm going, okay? And right now, if you notice, I've been focusing on incorporation and astrology because that's what's been coming at me. Oh, I don't understand. I don't know. My life is crazy. I wish I just knew what was going on. Then you do charts. I got like four requests in less than 24 hours. So, okay, let me do that real quick. All right. And then um, the incorporation thing, because more are trying to make moves in their proper capacity, you know, and I know what it is to be kept hanging. It's infuriating. It makes you feel insecure. And, you know, I have, I've had it done to me, so I'm doing my best not to have it, not to inflict others on that. And that's forthcoming. Okay. Y'all are going to love what I'm about to come out with. You're going to trip. All right. In a good way. Anyway, so I haven't been receiving too many requests on the child support side. Because, like I said, I'm dealing with it within a, my own family, not to go into too much detail. And, um, Sometimes there's ebbs and flows. You get it? You can't be forcing stuff. And I'm not forcing. I'm not. Libra ascendant. Please don't push me off balance because I'm a act off balance. You know? You know, bipolar. I'm not bipolar. I'm very level. Until you mess with me. And then I get online. <laughs> no. No, I don't. You know, I'm trying my best not to be Taylor Swift, but I'm starting to understand where she's coming from. Um, anyway, so he contacts me saying he has an issue trying with his children. Okay. Um, I'm like, cool, no problem. I'm actually working on this for a whole bunch of people, okay, who are very close to me. But this stuff, you know, we're dealing with these people. It's going to take a little bit of time. I'm working on some other stuff, you know. Um, do me a favor. Put your story in writing, okay? It's called a statement of facts. And actually I have a uh, sample that I'm gonna show to you all so that you can know what it's, it looks like. Um, like I said, the knowledge is free. My work is not. Anything I find online, any information, I have a freebies folder set up on Khalifa University. Um, go online. I'm just going to make a button on KhalifaMedia.com and just click on Khalifa University. All right. Because I'm always collecting stuff and I've discovered Evernote. Evernote is the bomb. Anyway, um, excuse my vernacular. Like I said, I'm, I'm a little out of it. So I'm not adhering to, uh, you know, pro protocol right now. Anyway. Um, so I'm using Evernote and I'm collecting notes offline. That's free. I'll, I found it. Somebody gave it to me. I'll give it to you. Anything I write, nah. All right. And so I've set it up where you can donate to the temple because a servant is worthy of her hire to get my stuff. The stuff I've actually written up. And it's one time. It's not a subscription. And I'm constantly, I've been doing this for a while and I'm constantly uh, unearthed or digging up stuff that I've forgotten about. Like, oh, wow, this is a great sample. So, yeah, and I'll have samples too. Um, and I have templates as well. Like I said, I'm digging through all my stuff, cleaning up all my files, getting everything in order for my new businesses. So, so I'm finding a lot of paperwork and documents that I, I missed out on. So um, the statement of fact I'm going to show you will be in my paid folder or donation, donated, donation required folder. And I'll be making a class on why I'm saying donation versus payment if you don't know what I'm talking about. Um, so anyway, I asked him, yeah, I'm, I'm trying, Gemini, that's my sun sign. 
I'm trying so hard to stay on task, but I'm a whole lot of air. Okay, and I'll be getting into another video on that. But anyway, um, so please be patient. Brother contacts me. I ask him, please and thank you, write your statement up. Be as objective as possible. No emotion, you know, because I'll be honest. The judge won't care about your feelings. I don't care about your feelings. I want to know the facts. I don't care about your feelings, not because I really don't have any concern over what you're going through. It's because if I ask the other side, I'm going to get a whole, a whole other story. And I ain't dealing with it. I already don't like this stuff. Just write up what I'll write up the facts, write up your objective, because I'm gonna, you know, turn all of this into a portion of a document I already have. Okay, I I, I didn't even know that it, it it just dawned on me one day like I have the solution right here. I just submitted it to the wrong people, and I know who to submit it to now. And there are and when I figured it out, unfortunately, it was right around the time when Russia was offering aid to find out, or they, they had just got offering aid. They had just for, uh, put together a, a think tank to figure out why they're killing the black folks in America. You know they know. This is our, they're not knocking, they tapping. You know, because I don't know. If you know, please tell me. Anyway, um, the opportunity is there. I have a document ready, okay? Um, to submit to the right people. It'll be stronger if I can submit more than just a story related to my family, okay? So I have this sister over here, you know, apparently the guy found out about this child seven, eight years after, the, after she was born and now he has her. She don't even know where her child is. My family, okay. Who else? Um, there's a brother, I won't say his name because he's he been given permission. He's writing a book and seeking funds to write a book to get his, to get funded to get his child back. Um, another brother, you know, your little two-year-old, right? Who would love that desk that you know that I'm, what I'm talking about, okay? Um, a cute little boy and his cute little sister. I got them up like this because they're on the opposite ends of the country, you know, and it's a real shame considering who their father is. And not only are they separated, neither one of them is with him. And I had this, the, what could be, I'm not going to say, I, I got it. Oh, 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 oh. No, I figured out, and I'm one of those people, I don't like looking stupid. I like, to, I'm looking for a way to lose, right? So that's what I need to focus on. And this thing it's tight, all right? It's real tight. I don't have this issue, though. So I'm using other people's stories, right? And um, starting with the one in my family and anyone else who submitted the written form of it because rather than, you know, chit-chat with you and try to, you know, get to know you, I really don't have time for that. I'm sorry. It's not to be cold. I'm not part-time in this movement. I don't know what's going on with me, you know, but the Moors who are also doing this, I don't even have to explain to you what's what's going on, what's moving around inside of me, and it just, like, kicked in this year. Um, so I'm not going to explain it. My thing is, I don't have time to hold your hand, okay? That's why I said at the beginning, treat me like another, treat me like I'm not part of your nation. I'm not you. I'm a European, I'm an Asian, I'm an Arab. What, take your pick. Because if I say, send me your written statement to go along with all these other statements, I'm trying to piece together to help all of us and clear this mess up. You're going to send me a stack of videos to look through. And come out, can't I put it together? Nope. I'm going to do to you exactly what any other nationality would do to you. I'm going to ignore you. Like I said, please excuse me in advance if I seem a little short. But how offensive. How insulting. If my name was Yip, Yap, you know, Quasimodo, you wouldn't dare. Right? My name is Najee Lael, so I'm going to take extra offense at it. 
all right i asked you to please follow these simple directions you're telling me no i want to do it this way and on top of that you're not paying me for this aggravation i'm doing this pro bono i'm trying to help my people all right i'm trying not to come back to this realm and if you're familiar with buddhism he teaches or a lot of buddhists teach that the best way to come back is to show other people how not to come back all right so my thing is it says it right there in the quran honor allah by a serving man i'm getting children back among other things because like i said this was one document i wrote and i didn't realize what it was come to find out i have at least three or two in addition to that one concerning um custody okay when i think about what i have in my possession all the stuff i have in my possession is just like me really and you want me to sit down and watch your home movies and put together your story i guarantee i'm going to tell it wrong because i wasn't there i don't even know you all right you're saying i can figure out your story from your videos narrate you can do it too write up the transcript okay i don't i really have better things to do and like i said if my name was rosenberg you would not dare if you were paying me you would not dare all right have a little respect all right um i've been on a few sites where these people it's set up where you have to talk actually talk to somebody like consultant or whatever it's like a feel like getting to know you thing right that's free and they actually put there when they say oh click here to talk to a consultant it's right there under there please be considerate of consultants time this is how they make their living and feed their families don't ask them to be doing nothing for free if they want to that's on them don't ask all right because if you ask for something that you know you haven't earned bye bye that's how i work all right so that's my disclaimer okay let's be professionals let's practice on each other okay i'm starting i'm, I'm starting to realize why black people and those who look like them are treated the way they are by the rest of the planet we don't even respect each other why should they respect us right um always looking for the hookup me it's like well if i want to give you one i'm probably just gonna give you one those who know me know how i am all right um but if you start acting like you're entitled to something we got a problem if you start hounding me we got a problem you know what hounding is how many emails did you send me today all right have i answered any of them and you're still sending me emails all right but like i said you know uh, let's practice on each other let's be pro professional we're supposed to be noble all right stop playing with this stuff uh if it's that hard to look at somebody that looks like me and say i'm going to treat you the way you deserve to be treated pretend they're somebody else until you start um just doing it by nature and in my experience, I do more, you know. It's like people, my people try to give me hookups. I won't take them. Like, I know you do. I know why you're doing this. And I respect that, right? So that's just my hang up, all right? I'm very independent. You know, I've learned. People tell me, uh, you got to start asking for stuff. But recent events have taught me better than to do that. Plus, it's, I figure if I, got, if I can ask you, if you, that means you must know how to do it. I can learn how to do it, and now I've added something to my repertoire. So, you know. Anyway, um, statement of facts for those who don't know. I'm going to bring it up. Like I said, Evernote is great. And now I'm going to try out a feature on my camera that allows me to film my desktop. It's my first time doing this. Please excuse any flubs. I'm doing my best, and... A lot willing, it'll improve with time. Okay? So, let me turn on that feature real quick. 
Okay, here we go. Um, okay, I hope this is capturing. Anyway, this is part of a writ of what is this? No, it's the state of uh, statement of facts review. Um, I had someone contact me about a uh, custody issue. Okay, and um, I'm like, okay, write up your story. Okay, just tell me what happened. Be as objective as possible. And please put, um, keep in mind that this might end up in front of a judge, so keep it clean. That's why I say it's not that I don't care about your feelings. If this goes to court, that judge is not going to care about your feelings. So you might as well start from that um, vantage. All right. So anyway, this is a statement of facts. It's exactly what it sounds like. Okay. She wrote up her document, you know, and I went in. Because you know your story better than I do. You know your story better than anybody. It's your story. All right. Wrote up her story. And um, sent, after she wrote up her story, um, I read through it. And it's like, okay, I can help like this, 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 and this. Send me these documents so I can look at them to make sure that I'm proceeding correctly. She did that. And that way, that's why you can see like um, in this one, there's citations. Because after she wrote up the statement of facts, her story, okay? Think of it like my springboard. Help me help you. You know, if you don't care enough to write, sit down and write your stuff up, why should I care? All right? Like I said, I, I, oh my goodness, I'm, I'm doing, I'm doing so much and there's so much I want to do. You can do this. How much do you care about your issue? Okay? Anyway, um, like I said, it's just a story. That's it. That's it. Alright. And then at the end, it's a conclusion. You know how to write uh, beginning, body, and conclusion. Right? You might throw, throw your objective up in there. Okay? The objective is going to be your conclusion. This ain't the wherefore. You're not writing up a case. You're not writing up a motion. You're writing up your story. Alright? And, um... One of my favorite sayings, I cannot remember where I heard it. Eloquence in brevity. Okay? Keep it short. Because you have to real you have, respect people's time. Alright? Oh, I forgot to mention, I'm a single mother of three children and I homeschool. And this is how I make my living. Okay? I don't have that kind of time to sit down and concierge that's available at a substantially elevated price because you're taking me away from something else so you have to make up for that loss lost time correct as long let's be reasonable all right so i think that's it it's yeah it's just a story it's just her story how many pages is this one um one two three hers is five pages all right that's not bad at all okay i would say if it's over 10 pages, you pushing it because you got to remember this is going to be part of something bigger. All right. Eloquence and brevity. Don't try not to leave anything out. Write your 20 pages and then shave it down to 10. All right. Respect people's time. Okay. Um, I think that's it for that. This will be a copy of this will be available in my um, paid, not paid, donation, donation required folder. All right. If I come up, happen to come across them, I'll save some samples I find online in the freebies folder. Okay. But that being that said, all right, more. Okay. Thank you for your time. Peace and love. And I'll see you when I see you.